Hi everyone. Today we discuss signal heads. Um, signal heads basically represent uh, traffic light. You always need to place them on a the link. And to do it, hold the control down and right click. You have a message that you need to have a signal controller first. So let's do that. In order to create a signal controller, first you need to make uh, you need to save your model file, and then you go to signal control, signal controllers, and click add. Here you can add a name. You can change different types. In this case, let's just go with the basic fixed one, the default one. Then you click edit controller data. And here, you can set up signal groups, intergreen, and the signal program. Uh, let's just create uh, two signal groups with that. You can add like signal group one, and uh, this can be signal group two. If you double click in it, you can select the different type. I go with the default one. And here you can set up the uh, red amber time, the green time, and the and per time. You can do the same for the other. In the integrin uh, here, you can set up an integrin matrix. And if you go to signal um, program, you create a new signal program. Double click in it. You can assign the integrin matrix you created. Since I don't have anything in it, but let's just put five. Then it will show you an error when the Intergreen doesn't, uh, they don't meet. So, like that, let's just do a very basic one. You can set the signal, uh, the cycle time, you can set an offset if you have uh, like multiple controllers and you want to achieve some kind of uh, coordination between them. I wouldn't say coordination, just if you just offset them, want to offset them. And switching time, this isn't really uh, interesting in our case. Um, and you probably don't need to use these at all. So if you just create a fixed one, you don't need to use uh, an integrin matrix. You just basically set up your signal group, set up their types and uh, the times for the different phases. And then you just basically create a new program, set up the cycle time, and there you have it. Then with this button, you save the data and quit. Okay. And control right click, you can place it now. Um, so what you need to set up here, this is the most important, so what is the signal group, what this signal head represents, so this is signal group 1, or signal group, it is, it can be important in cases when you have, you want like two signal groups to influence the signal head, so either this or this, if the first one is red, then the second, um, signal group state will be shown, if, even if it's a uh, red amber or amber. This type is basically just for 3D visualization, so circular, lateral, right or invisible. Don't really need to change that. A rate of compliance, if you reduce this, you can uh, make vehicles or pedestrians to ignore it. This is for evaluation. This is if you're modeling uh, trains and train signals. Label, basically if you just uh, want to uh, have a label for this, if you set the label up here, then, and if it's turned on, then the label will be shown. If you tick it off, and here you set the label for all signal heads, then it won't show it for this one. And all vehicle types, so this one will be um, considered for all vehicle types. If you only set it to cars, or uh, trams for example, then only trams we see it. And that's it. What you can also do is you can duplicate it. But you can also duplicate it with this button and then it will create, it will ask you the option if you want to create a new control as well. So if you do not copy signal control roller, it will be the same as you did before. If you do it with this, and copy signal control, then a new signal control will be created for that one. Thanks for watching.